Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well. In today's video I'm doing a somewhat new series I guess and that is Tattoo Enthusiast Reacts to people tattooing themselves here on YouTube. I do react to quite a few people tattooing themselves in my TikTok series but I thought I would take it over onto YouTube and see what the crack is over on this platform and um, I'm quite scared because with TikTok you know it's a short content kind of thing so you just see you know dribs and drabs here and there you don't see the full extent and um, I'd imagine here on YouTube where the videos are a little bit longer we get to see more chaos and I'm quite scared <laughs> I might have to do a little prayer to the holy devil because <laughs> just cannot. So the first one we're going to look at is called impulsively tattooing myself at 1am Amazon tattoo kit not a professional QAF Lex's life. Such a mouthful honestly like <laughs> it's probably one of the longest YouTube video titles I've seen in a long time. Okay then Lex what do you have for us today? Oh god are we are we ready? Do you have your snacks and your beverages and something to like hide behind because... <laughs> Oh, because this person did state that they're not a professional in their title, so we already know what we're getting ourselves in for here, right? Yeah, I'm gonna set y'all up, and I already put the stencil on and all that. It was a struggle, I was gonna give up, but the stencil's on and it looks good. I set a timer for 10 minutes, because you set a timer for 15 to 10 minutes after you put the stencil on, you're supposed to wait, you take the stencil off, and let them- Okay. First of all, this is something you don't really have to do. Some tattoo artists will do it, but 10 minutes seems extremely excessive. Like, I've been to tattoo appointments where an artist will just put on the stencil, peel it off, and then, like, we're good to go. And then there are other artists that I've been to that are just like, okay, we're just gonna let that set for about five minutes. I'm like, okay, cool, but, like, 10 minutes is, like, pretty extreme. But I guess, I mean, if you want that insurance of a stencil being there for a while and really like staining your skin. 10 minutes is okay. This is um my um, oh goodness. My birthday. I mean, they've kind of set themselves up yeah, to I'm fail because the, the line work so already I in the stencil is the pretty words, shaky, like it's not straight. Started. You know, like that's just, there's not one straight line here at all. And it might be the font style, but with like Roman numerals, I think that's what this is. You want it to be, you know, dead straight, surely because it doesn't look like an artsy style font. It just looks like someone has drawn this freehand. Like they haven't even used a like iPad or a computer to do this. It's been like, let's just draw this. You wanna make tattooing super easy for yourself. I mean, I don't wanna give like tips and tricks or anything like that, obviously, but like, don't set yourself up to fail to start off with. When you're tattooing though, you wanna like, make sure the skin is like no honey no 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 okay so we are potentially like i don't want to say they're going straight ahead and tattooing like this you know we might see some gloves we might see some sanitary precautions but at the minute i'm seeing major red flags because we have bare ass hands the tattoo machine isn't wrapped at all we're tattooing on a chair that's got like the sheet over it or whatever i don't know it kind of looks like a tent over a chair oh <laughs> this is not good this is so dangerous. I don't understand. Like, I say this every time I react to someone tattooing themselves. I just don't understand why people think it's okay to just do tattooing in the most unsanitary conditions. Because you're dealing with needles, okay? For one. Like, if you go to a doctor's office and they're just like, oh, I'm gonna give you an injection and they don't wear gloves. They're just putting the needle injection thing wherever they fancy on the floor. I don't know. Like, wouldn't you be really, like, annoyed at that and a bit like, okay, this is a lawsuit. What? Like, wh why do people do this to themselves? I don't understand. Like, I just don't. It. Uh, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, no, we're actually tattooing like this. Okay, great. Fantastic. I love this. This is such a vibe. Such a mood. Like, <laughs> like with your dirty ass hands. Like, I don't want to say this person is unhygienic, but... All of us, all of us have probably dirty hands right now. You know, like I'm touching my keyboard. Keyboards are like not the cleanest. Imagine if I just started like tattooing myself right now. You know, like you just don't know where your hands have been or you do know where your hands have been. And surely that's like an indication as to be like, at least, you know, 
wear some gloves if you're dealing with open wounds and you're like touching the area. Oh, it's so stressful for me. Oh, it just gives me the biggest ick. We're still going. We're still going. Yeah, okay, hun. Like, if you wore gloves, your hands wouldn't be covered in stencil ink and tattoo ink, okay? Your hands would be free from all of this staining. And that's like the least of your worries right now. Just like touching this, I just can't get over it. I'm not even like a germaphobe, but the thought of just some gross bacteria getting into an open tattoo wound and then giving someone an infection. Infections are not fun, okay? They're painful, they can make you very, very unwell. Like I'm talking temperature, sickness, fever, you know, and then the tattooed area where you've been tattooing gets gross and irritated and raised and scarred. It's the scarring as well. Like you're left with this horrific tattoo scar, which is hard to really work or do a cover up of or to fix it, you know, if you go to a professional to fix it. Like they have a lot to work with. In the long run, it just, oh, and especially, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> especially if you live in America, like with peace and love Americans, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, but your healthcare system is not friendly to people at all, okay? It's very, very expensive. So why would you risk your health and your bank account for a tattoo, you know? Like at least if you're gonna tattoo yourself, do it in good, clean conditions, okay? I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense to me. But you know, if you wanna potentially go to hospital and uh, get sepsis and potentially die, go for it, hun, you know? Are we using a cotton pad to wipe away the excess ink? Please, no, you... You're not even getting a new one. We're just gonna use the same one over and over and over and over again, you know, just scrunch it up. You know when you like, if you wear makeup and you take off makeup, does anyone else go through like three or four cotton pads just to take off the makeup of like micellar water? Like the first one is like covered in like foundation or whatever. And it gets all like scrunchy and rolls up and all of that. And it just doesn't look pretty. So you have to go through another like three or four to get the rest of your makeup off, right? And then this person, which by the way, you should not be using a cotton pad on an open wound because cotton pads, they are like densely compact, of course, but there's still a chance like all of these fibers from the cotton pad is just gonna get all stuck up in there and you don't want that. You don't want some fluffy bits healing in your tattoo. Like that is an irritation. Don't be using cotton pad, kitchen towel all the way. This is just a safety violation. Like if a tattoo artist in a tattoo studio was doing what this person was doing, oh, shut down, business lost, and never allowed to tattoo ever again. What is even happening here? Like, I get it's hard to tattoo yourself, but like, we're just doing all the extra bits, do you know what I mean? And again, it's the not having gloves, the grubby hands. Oh, this is just a disaster. It's like 12, no, it's like 1 a.m. And I just finished it for the most part. Like, everything's outlined. outlined. Tomorrow, I think, I'm gonna try to shade it. No, I think tomorrow you should just not. I think you should maybe just step away from the tattoo machine or at least watch a couple of YouTube videos on how to tattoo correctly and safely because your health is at risk and that's all that matters, you know? Like we have a very short, precious life and to just faff around with medical grade equipment, like it's nothing, it's, scary you know like the transfer little stuff is still kind of um on it but i'm trying to i mean uh, see the rays oh like could you just imagine if this person went to a professional tattoo artist in a tattoo studio one the risk of infections is a lot less <laughs> and the tattoo would have been so much better so much better, okay? Like the line work would have been straight. The whole tattoo would just be, you know, uniformed and much better looking. And the rose flower wouldn't look like a cabbage. And like most rose tattoos do look like cabbages. You know, I have a couple on my hands here. 
but like when they're done correctly you can tell they look more like a rose than a cabbage and i'm so for people taking up t tattooing or the art of tattooing as a hobby if here's the if or the big but if or but <laughs> they do it on fake skin okay like practice if you want on fake skin okay you know you're not harming anyone doing that you're not risking giving anyone infections by tattooing on fake skin okay just practice 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 on the fake skin put together a portfolio of artwork and then go for an apprenticeship and have a professional train you because they'll tell you everything you need to know about tattooing before you even start tattooing on someone you know like the cleanliness, the risks of bloodborne pathogens. You know, there's so many risks to tattooing and to being a tattoo artist as well. You know, should you be tattooing someone and then you accidentally, you know, pierce yourself with a needle and there's safety precautions to deal with that. I reacted to a TikTok once of a tattoo artist that accidentally pricked themselves with a tattoo needle after, you know, tattooing a client and they had to go to hospital to get the, you know, prick checked out and I think they had to have injections and stuff like that just in case but people that teach themselves how to tattoo just don't know all of this and then they might potentially seek out a tattoo apprenticeship and then they have to literally learn everything over again the proper way because when you self-teach yourself you're doing all your shortcuts and all of that and then you go to a studio and then your mentor is like what the actual fuck <laughs> are you doing right now that is not okay so you're best off just doing it you know, the proper way. It may be the slower way, but it's safer for everyone involved. The next one we're going to look at is called tattooing myself from home in brackets, age 17, arm and leg tattoos. Okay, so I don't know where this person's from. I know in some states in America, you can be like 14 and over to get tattooed if you have parents permission or 16 and over with parents permission or you can be just 16 and over. And some states are 18 and over. In the UK, it's 18 and over no parents permission you should not be getting tattooed under the age of 18 it's against the law so yeah i'm interested to see where they're from like i should be able to tell with that accent you know anyway recently i've been staying over at my friend imogen's quite a lot and she's got a tattoo guy <laughs> okay number one they're definitely british i can tell by their accent okay that means this is like illegal tattooing you need to be over 18 and for someone that is you know tattooing themselves especially someone from the uk saying tattoo gun is just it, ugh. <laughs> Like, I can sometimes give a pass to the Americans because it seems to be such an American thing to say tattoo gun. Oh, it literally hurts my spine saying it. But it's a machine. A gun shoots things, okay? It shoots things outwards, which a tattoo machine does not do, okay? It's like calling a sewing machine a sewing gun. It just does not make any sense. It's tattoo machine, okay? I can't understand when Americans say tattoo gun because with peace and love, guns are in their DNA. <laughs> you know, not everyone, obviously, but ugh. Okay, so their friend has a tattoo. <laughs> I'm just gonna say machine, I cannot. <laughs> oh, anyway. Every time I go there, I just wanna tattoo myself. And I've done quite a few over the last few weeks, but I haven't actually videoed any of it or like posted it. Okay, so this person has been tattooing themselves quite a lot by the sounds of things. Love that. Also, before anyone comments it, I'm aware I was not being very sterile. Do not come for me. If you have an issue with that, kindly click off the video. Okay, so this person is aware that they weren't, you know, sterile or doing things correctly, which I'm somewhat excited to see how bad it is and somewhat not because I'm just like, please, can we not do this right now? But if you're like completely aware of how bad the situation is, but you continue to do it, I don't understand. I just, I don't, I don't get it. Does anyone get it? Does anyone understand? Does anyone understand the logic here? Because I most certainly do not. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. But yeah, first tattoo that I did last night, which I planned a little while ago, was my first leg tattoos. Okay. There was a finished clip of these in they're the cute. footage from last night, but now I've actually showered and like washed all the ink off my legs. This is how they are looking. Not bad, not bad. They're just like little script tattoos, which, you know, pretty harmless. I mean... <laughs> depending on how they've done it. <laughs> it could have been very, very harmful, but they're not like the worst in comparison to some of the horrific self-done tattoos I've seen over the years, you know? Tattoo number two, impulse decision. Aren't they all? <laughs> Aren't they all impulse decisions? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sure the majority of us do, you know, think about our tattoos, but 
I'm sure some of us have also had impulse tattoos from time to time, you know, like I, I wouldn't judge someone for that ever. But how it's been done is where I would judge someone, you know. I did this little tattoo on the side of my arm. This is definitely the biggest and most detailed stick and poke tattoo I've ever done on oh, myself. And, and to be honest, considering I am a shit artist, I feel like it came out pretty good. Okay, so I was expecting them to have done it with a machine because that's what was mentioned beforehand. So maybe not, so it's maybe we're having some stick and poke action right now. <laughs> Can we just take a moment? Their friend is literally just laying there having a goddamn nap. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like when I was 17, I was probably at my friend's house, yeah, but we were watching films and stuff like that. We weren't having like a tattoo party. <laughs> Like, while well, one of us has a nap, the other one's, like, jabbing themselves with a needle in probably the worst conditions ever. I mean, you're in a bedroom. How clean can a bedroom be? Okay. So there's the stencils. Okay, well, I don't see... Uh, oh! What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! No, 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 no! We did not just like stick and poke ourselves with no gloves and then wipe our thumb over the open wound. We didn't, We. D I didn't see that, did I? Please take it back. Just take it away. <laughs> this person is very aware of what they're doing clearly because they know that it wasn't going to be in a sterile condition. <sighs> What's the thumbs? The thumbs, the thumbs, like the most used finger, right? Like you grab everything with your thumb. Can you, can you imagine the filth on it? Even if this person did clean their hands and use, you know, antibacterial uh, hand gel, whatever you want to call it. It's like they're, you know, like draw. Did I just wit did I just witness someone wipe down a tattoo with a towel? A towel. A a a bath towel. Someone has probably wiped their asshole on that with a piece of love. Like I'm st You gotta dry your butthole somehow, right? Like <laughs> Is this a joke? Are you like come on? I think I prefer the cotton pads. The cotton pads are more useful than a towel that people use to wipe their hands on and their bum holes on and their feet their feet oh my god a foot towel you just used a foot towel to wipe down your fresh open wound couldn't even use bog roll like what <laughs> I don't like doing this. This is just terrifying. I can get past the no gloves right now. Like the no gloves is not the issue. I mean, it is, but a ta- I can't- Even if the towel is incredibly clean, it's just come out of the laundry, right? And it's been on like a 60 degree wash and there is no trace of bum hole or feet. There's still like fibers within a towel, you know, like that can come off and get trapped in the wound and- uh, I need a minute. I need to I need to take up meditation, I swear. <laughs> oh, deep breaths. Okay. I'm sure it, it can't get any worse than this. I hope not. Like I hope the towel is like the cherry on this cake. Okay, it's a wee bit patchy, like it's not solid, but it's not the worst, but it's just like a little bit patchy in places. You know, you can see like the needle marks instead of it being like a solid script. It's more patchy but I would imagine as it heals over the next sort of few months or so tattoos do you know expand over time no matter what type of tattoo it is you know lines do get thicker so that should probably all like mush together and it'll maybe end up looking a bit more solid so finished my leg tattoos last night the moon child tattoo I then started this one. Um, I did stencil it up and everything, but there is ink the stencil rubbed off pretty quick. <laughs> I was up till like 2 a.m. Imogen was like dead out, fast asleep. And I managed to get this whole part done. Um, I'm now just starting like doing the little- Okay, wait, so, okay, wait. So this person went to their friend's house, tattooed themselves, then they left, and now they've come home to continue doing this tattoo. Interesting, okay. And they've still got, you know, ink all over their arm and stuff and it looks really irritated like like i always say 
irritation with getting a new tattoo is perfectly normal. It's so normal, but that looks quite irritated. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll just do it in our bedroom now. No gloves still, love that. And the thing that worries me is like, did this person take the needle that they were using yesterday, take it home, you know, put it in a bag or whatever, and then they're continuing to use the same needle, which is gross because you've left it to marinate overnight with all your germiness and it's just, oh, oh, I don't wanna make like assumptions. There's a chance it's a fresh needle, but in these situations where people are wiping down their tattoos with a towel, I, my, my expectations are low. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed a little bit of footage of me tattooing. Not really. It's been a while since I posted any. Also, just to mention, I know that I did them as stick and poke instead of with the tattoo gun. I did use the tattoo gun on areas of this one, just to like shade around it and things like that. And also for a little bit of the actual dagger. But I actually find I have a lot better control when I'm stick and poking, because you can really like line the needle up to where you want it. And like, it's a lot slower, but it is more detailed. That makes sense. It does make sense. You know, stick and poke, you do have a lot more control and you're not holding this big, vibrating bit of equipment you know so that does make sense but again i think it would be beneficial if this person just didn't or at least you know like with this kind of thing people are going to do what they want to do no matter what and people are going to be continuing to tattoo themselves no matter what um it's just one of those things all I can do is advise people to not and to go to a professional or if they're gonna do this, which I, please don't, <laughs> but if you're going to at least read up on how to be safe and sanitary, because again, your health and well-being is way more important than a tattoo. Like I get it, I, I, was, I was young once. <laughs> and you know, like it, the whole tattooing thing is so exciting. It still is to this day for me. You know, I've been getting tattooed for many, 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 many years now and it's all so very exciting and it's a way of expressing yourself and showing your individuality which is something that younger people love to do and I get it but it's not worth your health in any way shape or form because even though tattoos are seen as like fun things they can, they are serious things as well you know take those sweaty headphones off but there's so many things that could go so incredibly wrong while tattooing or while getting tattooed whether this is at home or with a professional i mean your risks are a lot 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 lower if you go to a professional that kind of side of things is never really spoken about because everyone just sees tattoos as this pretty artwork and you know it's a bit blase kind of like getting a haircut or whatever but it's really not if you think of getting tattooed the way you you know get injections from a doctor or having surgery you know like it's it's up there. Anyway, if there's any videos you would like me to react to, then please comment them down below. And until my next one, bye.